For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got my second update video in a row, and today it's mostly just going to be player ratings. Last Yesterday, I put out a full video about uh, a gameplay update. I went over some CFM things, some MUT things, although realistically, that was mostly about some very important... It wasn't the hugest gameplay update, but there were some very critical updates when it came to a lot of uh, exploits that a lot of people have issues with. So if you guys missed that, if you want to see more about how the game actually change when it comes to gameplay i will leave a link in the description i'll also have it popping up at the end of the video and it should be popping up in the top right screen right now so if you guys want to see uh, some more impactful updates to actual gameplay i will have that uh, but realistically right now this uh, update is really just going to be mostly player ratings which is pretty much all they changed i know i said in yesterday's video that there was supposed to be another update coming out but it really wasn't much anything so i'm just going to go over the player ratings updates starting from the top like i typically do uh, the the player with the highest rating that moved at all is Jesse Bates, who I've been saying for a while is the best safety in the game. He's making he's making a big difference in Atlanta. This is the second week in a row that he went up a point, uh, which is I think he was up uh, last week. He had a big pick six. He went up a point. He went up a point again. Uh, probably the best safety in the league. But one of the most important things is his acceleration went up, which speed and acceleration is like may, way more important than like awareness or something like that. So his acceleration is at 91, and since he's already in 89 speed, now being a 90 six overall player i mean he's just an absolute monster moving on though uh we're gonna keep going uh there's not a lot of high rated players that really changed a ton the next one is sauce gardner he went up a point i think the last title update before the one yesterday he actually got an x factor two and a, a superstar ability or something like that so he's definitely moving up in the world uh chris lindstrom for the falcons uh, the right guard for the falcons one of the better guards He's been kind of moving up and down. I think he might have started the year like a 90 or 91. He's now up to a 93. Um, but I know that he's going up and down from week to week as most linemen do. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time analyzing why linemen move because they just move up and down so much. It doesn't really matter. Derwin James down a point. Another guy. I love Derwin James. I love his physical profile. Six foot three. He's fast. All that great stuff. He plays hard, physical, whatever. He's just not really healthy all the time. He's not healthy a lot. I never really understand how he gets such a high rating because he doesn't really play a ton. Or at least doesn't feel that way. And he doesn't really have an impact because the Chargers usually have one of the worst defenses in football like every year. So I've never really understood that. Uh, but he's definitely a great player. All, all, I just feel like he's all potential at this point. Now, moving forward, Dak Prescott up a point to a 91. I know this is where Hurts was. Hurts, I'm, I'm going to jump right ahead here. Spoiler alert because I had to record this twice. Hurts is not... He, he went down a point from the Niners game. So Dak Prescott, in EA's eyes, is now better than Jalen Hurts. Let me hear from the Cowboys fans if even you guys believe that. Because we all know, I mean, if you look at what Dak's doing, it's the same thing he does every year. He pads his stats against teams that aren't very good. They'll probably lose in the first or second round of the playoffs, depending on who they play. I would say second round because they're definitely probably going to be better than, I don't know, if they, I don't know where they're going to finish. But regardless, this is the same thing we see all the time. This is set up perfectly. The Cowboys now have, they haven't beat a team all year that has, that currently has an above 500 record. I know the Seahawks had when they beat them last week by three points at home, which was a game that really felt like the Seahawks blew that, by the way. But, I mean, we'll see against the Eagles. They could win their first game this week. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think uh, will happen. Give me a, a score prediction. I think the Eagles bounce back. But realistically, I, I can't put Dak Prescott ahead of, of Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts was almost MVP last year. Dak Prescott's never really done that. And I know a lot of people are saying that this year, but the, the schedule sets up perfectly for them to fall apart in January and February, like they, or they don't ever make it to February, but in the, in the December and January like they typically do. Because now they got to go on a little actually good teams, like the Dolphins and like the play, they play the Bills. And, you know, they're not going to win all these games. They're going to they're gonna drop some of these games. They're might drop the game against the Eagles, but I don't want to speak out of turn because I might be eating my words uh, come Sunday or Monday. I don't even know when the game is, but I know it's the, the night game. But either way, um, you know, I'm th going to pick the Eagles to win that game, but I think it'll be a close one. Daniel Hunter up a point. He was leading the league in sacks for a while. He's up a point now. He's only a 91 overall for a guy that was leading the league in sacks. Next up, we got Antoine Winfield uh, having a great year as a safety. A couple of Bucks players went up. He's up a point to a 90. Uh, moving forward, though, we got to get to the Eagles and all the players that they just decide to fucking slash their ratings because of one loss. Still got the best record in football, but let's go ahead and let's dock their best uh, player on defense, Hassan Reddick, a point, even though he leads the team in sacks. I don't, I don't know. I thought he made some decent plays. <laughs> but we got to drop him a point. Uh, Jalen Hurts. 
down a point. I mean, he did have close to 300 yards. I don't really remember any turnovers. You know what I mean? Like, that's been the criticism of this year. Uh, but he goes down a point just because they took an L, I guess. I mean, I know he didn't play great, but still, I don't, I don't, you know, they just last week were making a huge deal about how many people were calling into their stupid fucking hotline and say that Jalen Hurts should be uprated and, or his point rating should go up, which is something that, you know, for the majority of the people watching him play around the league, thought that all year last year was underrated. This year, I still feel like he's probably the second or third best quarterback in the league right now, but not according to EA as he drops a point to a 90 after they made a huge deal about making him go up a point last fucking week. So that makes no sense. Justin Simmons, probably the second best safety in the league in my opinion. He's down a point, uh, down to a 90 as well. Mike Evans, this is a good one right here. This just shows you how stupid EA is. Mike Evans finally, uh, you know, I mean, he broke his own record. He he his ten straight seasons. He's the only player ever to start his career with nine straight thousand yard seasons. Now he's the only player ever to start with ten straight. And to celebrate, EA decided to bump to bump him up a single point to a ninety, which is basically the same rating he's been for like the last ten fucking years. Like he hasn't changed. He's like, <laughs> you could build your ratings around the fact that Mike Evans will be a ninety whenever Madden comes out every single year. So the fact that they're acting like this is the guy they're pumping up this week. Last week it was Jalen Hurts. This week if you go on the Twitter, it's like, oh Mike Evans. We're to pump him up i mean they did put him up a speed point though that 92 speed is important that's probably way more important than his overall but i'm just saying if you're celebrating an accomplishment that's you know pretty huge and pretty rare putting him back to the same fucking rating he started the year at doesn't really do that or the same rating he's been for like the last five years doesn't really do that so good job ea uh vita Vayal up two points he's one of the bigger movers up two points to a 90 overall like i said the bucks must have did something because a lot of their players have been getting uh ratings boost i think vita Vale is one of the top five defensive tackles in football easily and when he plays to his best and he's healthy he might be the best uh but still that's you know 90 is a good rating but i still feel it's kind of low jonathan allen went down a point a lot of washington players went down a point this week including terry mclaurin down a point to an 89 both of them down on 89 but they really hurt terry they really hurt scary terry here they took a speed point away and an acceleration point away come on bro like he didn't get slower just because they lost to the dolphins did they Tua tonga vailoa goes up a point he's now an 89 although for my money that rating really doesn't matter until they fix his throw power which they never will because that's something they don't really do they don't really change throw powers once that's in the books it's it's permanent so he's always gonna have that that low throw power which is gonna hurt him debo samuel goes up a point to an 88 he had a monster game he should have got two points if you ask me great game hasn't really had a great year since that one monster year he had a couple years ago but still a really good player joel batonio down a point i don't really deal with you know i'm not going to go over lyman because it just never makes any sense as he's uh he's down a point uh you know linemen just go up and down it feels like every every you know every uh, other week these these linemen are going up and down a point which never makes any sense to me jordan Malata is another one another eagles player gotta knock him down a bit Knock him down a peg, you know, because the team lost. So it's like you got to just destroy the entire roster, I guess. Uh, continuing forward, Khalil Mack, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, leads the league in sacks. He finally gets a one-point ratings boost to be up to an 87. Good job. AFC, off or AFC Defensive Player of the Month last month, leading the league in sacks with 15. And he's only an 87 overall, surrounded by guys like Kenny Moore and Colton Miller, who are just, like, pretty good. <laughs> but not nearly as good as what he's playing like. I mean, he's, a, he's an all-time outside. He's a Hall of Famer. You know what I mean? And he's still playing at really high level. Let's get him in at an 87. That makes no sense. Mike Williams, receiver for the uh, the Chargers. I don't even think he was playing. He's down a point. I know he was hurt earlier. Maybe he's back. I don't know. But he's down a point. Um, so, you know, if he, it wouldn't surprise me as players go down while being injured all the fucking time, which makes no sense. Uh, Brian Burns down a point to an 86. Uh, DK Metcalf, though, up a point. I would say Derek Brown up a point, too. Since they put down Brian Burns a point, they did send Derek Brown up a point to an A6. But DK Metcalf, let's talk about this guy. 96 speed. He got a boost of a point, and he got a boost of an acceleration point. So he's a six foot three monster with 96 speed now, one of the fastest receivers in the game, and 95 acceleration. DK Metcalf gets a much, I mean, that one point boost I could care less about. The speed boost, though, that is important. Jamal Adams went down a point. He's down uh, an 80 to an A6. Um, you know, I can't say he's playing too great. Raheem Mostert's like a top five in the league in rushing or top 10 league in rushing and touchdowns. Only an A6, once again, just like Khalil Mack. Like, give this guy a little, <laughs> little props. You know what I mean? It's like some of these guys are like towards the league lead in certain categories, and like in the mid 80s. Another guy, too, Brock Purdy, got a two point boost, six awareness points. But he's another guy, because of his throw power, it's like he might never really be. Uh, too usable you know what i mean it's like he's having a great year for sure they're talking about him like mvp now which okay if you want to do that fine but let's be honest he's not even like the sixth best player on their offense you know what i mean like trent williams 
both the receivers, George Kittle, um, and uh, I mean, Christmas Caffrey, obviously, all these guys are probably like some of the best at their position. I don't know if Brock Purdy, <laughs> like if I'm going to give MVP to somebody on that team, it'd probably be run CMC or even Trent Williams, which sounds even crazier. You know what I mean? But it's like, I don't know how you have Brock Purdy's default MVP because he's because he's a quarterback. I never really understood that, especially since they lost three straight games where he was still playing and he couldn't bring them back to win the game. It was all one possession or like field goal to win games and he couldn't get it done. So that makes no sense to me. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this or the other update video I was talking about, I'll have that popping up on screen. Just make sure to you know hit the like button and all that good stuff and until next time thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below